something in the area of 45 centimeters. This is just me not being a very good carpenter. <laughs> it looks terrible. All right, let's open this little packet. It's, of course, for the fisher. So it's a nice little water tank. It's about 200 liters and has access hatch. And we will bring this to the boat and see how it fits. And we have different things to do today. So let's get to the boat. We have set a new record of rain for the month of August. It, the old record was 95 years old and that has now been beaten. And it's still four days of August to go. So let's see how that can be. But the work must go on. So we will move immediately to the boat to proceed. This is the lowest position that this tank can have because it is now hitting the hull. It is hitting the hull down here, sitting on this old floor. That, that means I will have to recreate that floor and include some kind of inspection hatch underneath the tank. That is the most viable option, I guess, because Probably there will be no use to get to that area really. Secondly, I wish to have it watertight. And thirdly, this tank will stay. What's underneath there is not important, I guess. Thirdly, that was the third point. Thirdly, what was the third point? Um, yeah, thirdly, placing the tank here means the tank has the maximum balanced in the center of the boat meaning sideways not longitudinal because it's in the bow so it will press the bow part of the boat down when it's filled up and i think that is okay i have placed the diesel tank further aft Ide ideal ideally ideally both tanks should sit in the mid part of the boat that way it would not be any big change in the hull when uh, filling up one tank and empty another and etc etc it's great isn't it wow. so next task will be this wall out here that is the wall to split the head and the uh, kitchen I need my lovely laser to make a nice marking of where the wall will sit. Let's get to it. Okay, so I have the width of the plate. So it on this side will go directly uh, in alignment with the keel, like this, and the same over here. So I will put some markers in place. Then let's start make the template. Then this template is done. Right, it's not very complicated. Let's get it into the car so we can continue with more templates. So we are, we are in the bow section and I figured that the next template should be made here. I'm thinking about making 
a vertical wall, and then something to sit on. Then I will make a seat actually. And this wall will help keeping this in place. This is thoroughly glued, but if some heavily pressure comes, this will want to move up. If there is a plate above, that should be prevented. Then it's only a question of how high should it be. Something in the area of 45 centimeters should be okay for me. Maybe 50. Right, so the next template is ready and uh, let's get it out and just continue. Then it is this template, it's for underneath the bed to rest the water tank upon. Right, so this floor I will put on top of the old floor and uh, it will just be a few millimeters higher, 18, 20, something like that, which seems to be okay for the tank. Um, I think keeping the old structure here is good strength-wise. I see no point in removing that. It's just work, no gain. So uh, let's make the template. I'm done with the template and uh, I guess making three templates in a day is okay. Let's get home. Oh, back in the boat again and um, we have had a, uh, not a visit but visits from Wales actually. Here we are and who are you? Hello, I'm Kevin. And I'm Rachel. And we, we're visiting Norway on our Fisher 25 Freewood, which is uh, a Fisher without a pilot house. And we've come across from uh, Wales, through the Caledonian Canal, across to Orkney, uh, and then from Orkney to uh, Floro, if that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> and up the fjords for a few weeks, but then we broke down. So we had uh, three weeks in Marley. Mm -hmm. um, and then now we're working our way south to try and get uh, either to Scotland or we're just going to keep going south, aren't we? We had some excellent uh, mechanics that helped us when we were in Marley. And some That's so great. That's so great to hear. But still, it's very sorry that the engine broke down, but that things happen owning a boat. Be aware of that. Buying a boat means problem, but also lots of happiness. Is Isn't true. it? It's true. We are enjoying ourselves. Sometimes uh, when the engine broke, we weren't enjoying ourselves so much. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to see your boat because we, we like watching your videos. Thank you. Which are, you know, easily the best videos on YouTube. Oh, we yeah. are. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the harbour again, but which harbour is it? We are at Strusshavn and uh, this is a fisher. 25, it's actually called um, Freeward, Fisher Freeward. And it's Rachel and Kevin's, and it's great. Another great day at the Norwegian coast. Slightly raining. Back in the garage again. And now it's time to cut some plates out of the templates that we did yesterday. And my hope is, of course, to use what I have already done cutting in, so I can ex exploit, exploit, use most of what I've already got. That's the best perspective. So let's see if this plate fits the templates. So hopefully this will do. That did not work well. Yes, excellent. I will have to see if I have another cut plate for this template. 
For the large one, I will have to use a new plate. This needs an angle, not much. There must be an angle, must be talking to an angle. I'm loving angle. <laughs> <laughs> an induction, induction um, uh, heating uh, plate. Um, Heat top, no, nine. cook top, cook nine. top, nine. Nine. It's, a cook top. it's an induction stove, it's excellent for the fisher, I should have it, shouldn't I? Yeah. Filled up the car with stuff from the garage, we are ready to go to the yard. Back in the yard again. And it's actually hot and not raining. How is that possible? We have had so much rain. Could I say we have a lot of work to do in the boat, so it's just to get started. Very exciting moment. Will this fit down there? as the tank, the water tank, will cover this area as marked. And most of this area, sort of like, it's, it's not too interesting, but it might be important to get a possibility to, to access it. It also means, of course, that they can do, they can cut open that area at a later point of time, naturally. It's not impossible to do that. What do you think? If you have enjoyed this video so far, this is a good time to leave a like, isn't it? So let's see if this fits the designated area. No, that's the wrong way. But, but much better. 
Then this one is ready to be glued on. It fits quite nicely. So, well, obviously it's a little bit too long. A friend is visiting on the summer house and we will do some programming, programming, programming. We are doing web pages in Astro. Anyway, we will uh, drink beer in the evening and enjoy a good meal or two. in the cabin again and we are now sitting here with our laptops and our programming and you may wonder how can that be fun it's fun because we drink too then it's time to just relax in the sun and enjoy a beer and enjoy life of course which we always do we try at least. Back in the harbor again and yeah it's the day after a little party so I'm a bit exhausted. The boat doesn't care about that so I'll just have to push on. All right, so I am about to glue this little wall that is separating the head or shower or whatever uh, with the kitchen side, which I really don't remember what we call on the nautical terms. Uh, this plate we will glue today and uh, that's no rocket science at all. I might also screw that plate uh, would uh, have some screws, not screw the plate, fasten the plate with screws. <laughs> so first, and smaller. That's okay. I think this is the easiest way to glue this one. <laughs> I must admit today it's quite hard to work. I had a friend visiting at the summer house this weekend, not uh, more than one night, one evening, but uh, one evening with plenty of beer has had its toll on my body. We used to do that while being young, but that's a distant past. Feels like amateur night. On the other hand, I am an amateur working on my little project. There is quite a large gap. This is just me not being a very good carpenter. I'm sorry about that. It's very annoying. My electric car seems not to charge its 12 volts starting battery and it won't start. 
Great, I will have to take the small engine. No, the small car. Twizzy. Let's see what the status is for what we did yesterday. It's cured, but not 100%. It's still a little bit soft. I would like to grind it, but it is a little bit early. It hasn't completely cured yet. Much the same status over here. So the next thing we will do here is to make a top plate. This will be a sofa. It will be like this. Very good, very good, very nice. I will grind off this area as I wish to to uh, fiberglass a little bit of doorstep into this room because then when this, this is glued I can also focus on making a floor in this area. I will make a small wall five centimeters and this one will be 22 centimeters up till here I guess. We are thinking about making a patron site. The channel has grown and it may be time for some of you to to also join the Patreon page. So we could have extra video uh, uh, takes. We can have uh, uh, how to do's. Uh, that could be a question and answers. I do spend uh, a lot of time answering questions on the videos and um, that have worked okay for, for now. But as there will get more subscribers, that would be difficult for me to, to use uh, so many hours on each video. It takes a lot of work to make just one video and uh, I do enjoy it very much. A lot of you will probably just watch the video and that is totally okay and I respect that. Some of you would like to have uh, more content and, and uh, I would like to provide that uh, for a small price each month and also to be slightly more available to those of you that are willing to subscribe to that deal. I would very much like to have feedback from those of you that are interested. I don't need, from those of you that are not interested, I, I don't need to know that. That's okay. Let me know that you are interested and what you could think about uh, to find on that um, patron site. It could be more from the, the cabin up in the mountain. It could be more from the other boat. It could be more from the summer house. There are lots of possibilities. We could have online discussion once in a while. So let me know. Sarah and I are working on the thought and the contents of that already. Back in the garage again. Yeah, there were some smaller pieces to be glued uh, in the entrance to the head. We have something that we can make out of these small pieces. That should be sufficient, and let's go ahead. So, that was easy. Those are quite basic to cut. They will be angled, but I will wait till I get to the boat, because I must be sure what what to angle on and what what angle, how, how much it will be. So back in the yard again, and uh, it's uh, of course the first month of the fall. And uh, what is happening here? Now we are doing the spring uh, conservation. In the fall? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I'm a bit late, as you can see. It's supposed to be on the water now, but that's the way it is. If you have too many things to, to uh, do. The first edition of Princess, it is uh, really a uh, uh, classic, classic is what we call it. All right, we are back in the boat again, yes, and let's see, this is just a rough fit, so I need to do a little bit of adjustment. Hmm. Could be better, let's try again. It's about perfect. This is okay. I can grind that off afterwards.
I need to bring a light. A lamp would be nice. I can't see a thing in here. That good? Good enough, I guess. Let's go home. That is not rain. That is fish. This is cured. This is hard and fine. We will make this floor template. Very unusual shape, very unusual. And also, I should make a template for protecting what we have underneath the floor from the bilge area. There is still a part of the bilge, when even empty, it will hold some water. So, I will make a protective layer of uh, plates, that uh, one plate, <laughs> uh, that just sitting there and can be removed very easily. Mm -hmm. All right, then this template is done. It's uh, slightly inaccurate on this side, but I don't think that matters too much. I guess this should be okay. Okay, so I have leveled off this area. That should be the seat area of this little coach. And we are now ready to make the template front in front here. Again, I burned myself on this. I keep doing that. It was somewhere around here and I really felt it, but last time it was this one. All right, this is finished also. The trick when making a floor is to think about the hull. The hull, the lower part of the hull has a curvature. And when you measure, you will probably measure the lower part and that is a challenge because you want to take into consideration that it is going to have an angle towards the hull so it fits as good as possible. I promise you, I have not tested this. Yes, the plate fitted apparently quite well. Not a hundred percent, but it's satisfying and it's good enough. It looks okay. This is actually okay. It's really strange that I have done this. I'm a little bit happy now. So let's try the other plate. I'm not sure I'm so lucky there, but I haven't. I haven't tested it. It's true. Not bad at all. The template was not 100% optimal, but it is okay. I will still glue this and make access openings in the floor to get access to the belt, of course. I'm now measuring where the access hatch to this little storage room yeah. will be situated. When this is glued to everything, it is actually also a structural member. So I wish to take that into consideration when making these uh, access hatches. 
Okay, then I will have one hatch here and one hatch over here. This is the measurement of the floor in the head, the bathroom. What am I thinking? I am thinking that I am going to exploit the maximum of the hull here. So I'm going to have the toilet here. Then I'm going to have a uh, wash basin. Basin? Watch, yeah, anyway, somewhere to wash your hands. The shower will be in this area. If that is the new floor, the height underneath the roof will be one meter 95, which should be sufficient for insulation from above, a little bit at least, and still have a decent height. Also, I will then make, from where the floor stops, I will make a closet and then the wash basin on top of that and for the walls I will extend them down somehow. I may use some of this area or I will use it as a technical area. For example for the for the tank from the toilet. No more time in this video for boat work. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed the video and uh, that you will have a wonderful life until the next video. If you have enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. All right, very good.